Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the net equation for glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. So the citric acid cycle, otherwise known as the Krebs cycle, is the process that all organisms in an oxygen environment use to get energy, and they get that energy for, by forming a chemical known as ATP. So glycolysis is a very specific uh, part of that cycle, and so we can go over what that means. Well, glycolysis is using a chemical named glucose, and glucose is a six-membered ring. It's a simple sugar. It looks like this, and it has an oxygen in the middle of the ring, and then it has a bunch of alcohol attachments, and they all have very specific stereochemistry. So this is D-glucose. And during glycolysis, you're taking your sugars and you're breaking them down to something called pyruvate. And pyruvate is a chemical with a structure that looks like this. And for every one glucose you break down, you actually get two pyruvates. So, the exact mechanism that happens is actually done in a metabolic pathway, so it's very complicated. It has lots of things going on. But in general, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in glucose, and we have one, two, three carbons in pyruvate, and that makes sense. Because we're basically splitting this in half and creating this functional group. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been What is the Net Equation for Glycolysis in the Citric Acid Cycle?